expert event planner is here back in the studio, this time with ideas on how to throw the best bridal shower. Well, it's not just temperatures that are hot in August, so is wedding season. So coming up, event planner Tara Wilson is back in the studio with tips on planning the perfect bridal shower. I can't wait to eat a cupcake when we come back. <laughs> Eight forty-eight. I love it. We save the best for last. Traditionally, June has been known as the most popular month to have a wedding. But now, the month of August. I can't believe it. Yes, August has gained that title. Folks are crazy, but they're crazy in love. If you're trying to plan a wedding or wedding shower, event planner Tara Wilson is back this morning with a lot of helpful ideas for you. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to see you, Debbie. Good to see you, too. Well, let's talk about the things that you should do as you're preparing to host a, a wedding shower for a bride. Sure. First and foremost, you want to send the invitation out at least four weeks in advance. Four weeks? Four weeks. Wow, okay. You want to make sure people, especially when they're traveling in the summertime. That's true. So you want to make sure that they know when the shower is going to take place. Right. Also, be sure and list where the bride and groom are registered. There's nothing worse than getting an invitation and not knowing where they're registered. <laughs> you're gonna get a lot of phone calls. <laughs> exactly. And finally, encourage the bride to invite people that she knows extremely well. Okay. What's really hard is when um, someone receives an invitation, they may not know the bride or the groom, maybe they're friends of the family, but they don't recognize the name because the invitation doesn't have the person's last name on it. The bride's oh, wow. last name okay. on invitation so, oftentimes. So you should include that, definitely. Yes, either okay. include it or make sure the bride gives some of those people a little heads up that the invitation is coming. A good idea. Yeah. I wish I would have known you when. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Well, you know me now, and okay. we'll go from there. But we're also going to talk about the top three trends in wedding showers for this summer. And the first trend is giving gifts not for a certain room of the house, but in a certain color family. And the big trend this summer is bright, bold colors colors and graphic designs Love and it. so we've pulled some items that you can easily pick up um, from local stores. Pottery Barn and Williams Sonoma have great offerings. Green is huge for summer and um, this is Renault China. This is from mm. Neiman Marcus. Wow. So for the bride that really wants to follow that whole color scheme they can um, use this China here. I love the green kitchen. I do mixer. too. I love it and I like how you say keep it all in the same family. Right. You know, so, your, your mixers, so, your, your scissors, I like, I love it. Well, and there are plenty of options. People think, oh, I have to bring a gift from a certain color family. I don't have very many options, but there really are a lot of selections. Where'd you find this? This is from Williams Sonoma. That is so neat. But I'm Great. really excited about this new designer this here in here in town. These um, platters are by APM, Adrian Maroney. She is doing these. Um, they're beautiful. She takes photography of plants mm -hmm. and then transforms it into designs that she places on platters. I love it. They're very personal, um, and she has a really unique story behind her items, and I just love her work. And the little, um, this is a little fish, it's the little goldfish. Gold fish. Mm -hmm. And those Cute. were picked up from Pottery Barn. So you've got pops of color that you can utilize. So there are a lot of options out there for the bride that's really into the trends. All right. I love it. Trend number two, mm. the guys are invited to the parties now. Okay. So make sure that if you invite them, that you do something that's fun for them, which leads into trend number three. Um, tasting menus. You got, you got to feed them. Yes, you do. You do. <laughs> so. If it's just girls, what we love to do is tastings. Cake tastings are really popular right now. And so, Wrinkles Cupcakes out of Dallas has all these wonderful assortments. So you can make miniature cupcakes of potentially what your, your cake might be uh -huh. and let people taste it. So if you're thinking of a red velvet or a lemon, then let your guests at the shower try that on for size. Uh, already a taste of the wedding. Exactly. I love it. But if you're inviting guys to the shower, Make sure you have something for them. So host a cocktail party, maybe send the guys out to play golf while the girls unwrap the gifts, that sort of thing, or go to the spa day. But then when you all come back together, make it fun for them. So I love the idea of doing a scotch tasting bar. Yes, And um, nice. you can pick up wonderful assortments of single malt scotch um, from various liquor stores. These came from Majestic Liquors. Very simple to pick up. They're very helpful. Um, so we've done a scotch tasting bar. Yeah, but now you can get the guy. The guys will never leave. Well, <laughs> if you have this. <laughs> but you, <laughs> that's true, but you want to make it fun you for do. them. You, you know, do. because no guy loves to come to a, a wedding shower <laughs> and watch everybody it. open gifts and right. things like that. So that's another point. You want to tell your guests to bring the gifts unwrapped. 
And so the hostess should have a little place card for each person that's attending the party with their name written on it. So let's say I bring in these beautiful platters and mm -hmm. they're unwrapped. I'll display them on a table and the card that says that I brought them will be displayed beside it. I like it. that. Keeps the because flow we're of the all party. adults. You don't have to have a big surprise every little gift. You're going to do that on your wedding night anyway. You know, open up all the gifts. Right. So that's great. Just put it out there and there where the guys don't have to suffer. Exactly. <laughs> yes, exactly. And then these are beautiful. Beautiful flowers. Mm -hmm. There's some really great trends. Don't those smell wonderful? Oh, wonderful. They're very fragrant. At first I thought they were fake. No, these no, are no. real. These are from the <laughs> Urban Blossom here mm. in Addison and they're gorgeous. And what they do um, is they like to say think outside the vase. That's their tagline. So they like to create things that are big and bold. So like the Cymbidium orchids there in the front would make for a gorgeous centerpiece. This also has artichokes in it and hydrangeas. Oh, it's beautiful. So they do, and they, and the great thing about flowers is they're following the trends for the gifts as well. So the floral, you'll notice it's in greens, and that's not in necessarily intentional. It's just that that's the trend in flower. Big, bold, beautiful flowers and bright colors. And stay in the same family. Mm -hmm. Excellent, Tara. I, you know I always love when you come. Well, thank you. I love so, being here. We, we love all of your ideas, and you folks email me all the time. So listen, <laughs> we have a link to Tara's website on ours. That's how popular you are. Oh, well, just to go to WFAA.com and click on Daybreak, and you'll find her under links at the top of the page and it's also TaraWilson.com. Correct. So that's easy, too. So there you go. Thanks, Tara. Thanks, Debbie. Another day of triple-digit heat. Nancy Snell is back after the break with the final check of your Saturday forecast. So stay with us. This is hot as this scotch right here. <laughs>